From that moment forward, I have never gone back. I feel totally comfortable with asking someone out whether, it, whether the, the person is interested or not. Um, and it's not only not scary, but it's actually fun. Literally, in three days, I changed 40, 42 years worth of a way of being to a totally different, much better way and stuck with it since then, which is just amazing. I, I didn't do fear, I didn't do panic, I didn't do anything. It was just the most peaceful, comfortable feeling. I've never had a panic attack since. That's real stuff. That's real things that happen and it's simply from the tools that are taught here. Before I came to the Option Institute, wow, there was a whole laundry list of things that I really would, would want to change with my life. The reality is that um, at that point in my life, I had been uh, having panic attacks and anxiety disorder for 19 years. I was on Xanax for my acute panic attacks. Um, for those who've never had a panic attack, it's essentially like having a heart attack all day, every day. And you, I mean, literally every moment feels like it could be your last. So there's this incredible fear. Um, and then, and you know, the, your heart is beating really fast and your adrenaline's pumping and the muscles are clenching up. And the, that was the way my life was for 19 years. Even with medication that, that worked, it was basically, that was where I lived. And it was not a fun place to be, let me tell you. In addition to that, I was a, I was a very shy and frightened person. It, it, people from the outside, I was really good at putting on an image, so people from the outside would not see that, um, that really how scared I was. Uh, but if you looked at, at, at the way that I was in the, within the world, like I, by the time when I was 40 years old, I had never asked a woman out on a date in my life. I'd always been overweight, um, and I really saw myself as not being lovable, not attractive to, to women, so I totally shied away from ever doing that. I had a crush on this woman. I, I really thought she was an amazing you know, gal in college. Um, her name was Candy, and she had basically all the things that I would be looking for in a soulmate. And I was utterly unable to tell her, ask her out, do any of those sorts of things. So I thought, OK, let's just let's do something really creative. Let, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead, and, and I decided to like, buy a single rose and tie a little piece of string to it and put a note with a song quote on it and then like drop it off on her door in the middle of the night and kind of like set the stage for this someday imagined asking out on a date that would happen. So the night that I had to do this, um, I got the rose, did the whole thing, and I literally sat frozen in my car outside the apartment complex at one o'clock in the morning, okay? There's not a light on, there, you know, there's not a mouse stirring, there's nothing going on in this apartment complex. And I, so I would, I would open the door, I would get partway to, to, to her apartment, and then I would you know, freeze up and come back to the car. And this happened like four times. So finally, it's like 2.30 in the morning, I've been there for an hour and a half, and I finally made it to the door, strung the thing around the door, and just ran as fast as I could back to my car and, and you know, went back. And it was such a traumatic experience, just that, just the fear involved in that, um, then I never continued with the whole process, so there ended up being only one rose. But that's the kind of fear that I lived in for, for all of my life until I came here. There was a class devoted to what's called the option process dialogue, which is kind of like, it, it, I, I, I hesitate to use the word counseling, but it's kind of like counseling except for the fact that you are asked very gentle, very loving questions to help you find your own answers. So it's not someone telling you how to live, it's you finding the answers so that you can design your own life. And that actually sticks much better than somebody else telling you how to live because they really don't know who you are um, at the core. And, and you're the only one that really can tell you how, how you're gonna live. So when you make that change yourself, it really sticks and it really alters your life in a profound way. So for me, the dialogue that I did um, during the Happiness Option program had to do with why the hell can't I ask someone out on a date if I like her, you know? Uh, every other guy on the planet seems to be able to do this, why can't I? And it took 15 minutes, and by the end of that time, I really had a handle on why I was doing it, why I was, why I was afraid to ask someone out. And not only that, by the end of that, that time, I had made a decision that, you know what? Next time I'm attracted to someone, I'm just going to ask her out and see what happens. It was really cool. It was awesome. 
And the weirdest thing happened. From that moment forward, I have never gone back. I feel totally comfortable with asking someone out whether, it w whether the, the person is interested or not. Makes no difference. Um, and it's not only not scary, but it's actually fun. Literally, in three days, I changed 40, 42 years worth of a way of being to a totally different, much better way, and stuck with it since then, which is just amazing. I could never possibly imagine that that was going to happen. In working on that particular issue, somehow being OK with myself to be able to ask a woman on a date and be, um, be able to do that comfortably, it, it kind of resonated with a bunch of other fears that I had. And I had the experience of having gone on a hike after the program was over. I took a hike up to the lookout. There's this gorgeous lookout that looks out over the whole valley. And while I was walking up the trail, I was thinking, you know, someone saw a bear somewhere in the, in the area vicinity recently. And I'm walking the trail alone. And, I'm, and I started thinking, what if a bear came along and just attacked me and started like, you know, this, this could be the end of my life. And, it, and for the past 19 years, any thought having to do with my own mortality would have triggered an intense panic attack. And the most amazing thing happened. Nothing happened. I, I didn't do fear. I didn't do panic. I didn't do anything. And it was just the most peaceful, comfortable feeling to not have that happen. I've never had a panic attack since. So from 19 years of having them every day to the last four years of never having another one is, I mean, I, that, that's real stuff. That's real things that happen. Uh, and there is. And it's simply from the tools that are taught here. And it's not rocket science. It's really easy stuff. So I am, I'm definitely grateful for all of my time here. It's why I keep coming back, because there's always something more for me to learn. There's always another level of comfort to go to, of fun to have in my life. And um, the relationships that, I've, that I build nowadays are, are by far the deepest, closest relationships, whether it's friends or family or you know, a romantic love relationship, they're, they're just by far, they're way beyond anything I could have ever possibly imagined.